So for today, we're going to be looking at Precious Scars. This did get asked for not too long ago. And this one is pretty funny considering this one was probably some of the hardest sets that I've made in a long time. But I love how they came out. I think they come out super, super cool. And Titans, let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. But let's just get into it. So Precious Scars, let's actually look at what it does before we actually look at how it looks. Kintsugi, final blows from weapons with damage type matching your subclass energy create a burst of healing around you. After reviving or being revived, you gain an aura that provides overshield to you and your nearby allies. So this is a pretty interesting exotic. I actually did not know about the final blows from weapons. That one, I don't remember that. I thought it was just revivals, but that's really cool. Um, I don't, mm, I'm going to definitely use this now because that sounds stupid, but that being said, I, I will probably use this like, and I don't know, it's pretty, it's pretty rough. Like I haven't been using this just because I don't really see the need for it. But that being said, now that I know that it does with final blows as well, I definitely thinking about doing that just because that we'll see, we'll see. Uh, that's pretty much what it does. I'm not going to talk too much because I'm not using it at the moment, but again, that's what it does. As for how it looks, uh, this one is notorious for just being really rough to fashion around rightfully so considering this helmet is pretty gnarly looking it is part of the japanese custom of like when you break something you like repair it with gold uh, it's it's really cool i like the idea of it it's just the fact that i think the shape of the helmet i'm not a big fan of there's a lot of things about this helmet that i'm not a fan of the really really cool thing that is working for this exotic is the fact that it actually shaders really well um that being said there is some gold pieces that don't change color other than that it actually does shade her really well and to be fair most of the gold you can ignore at least for me i'm like it's not that crazy that i can't ignore it but just be aware that there is some gold that just does not change color speaking of shaders uh i like a lot of the colors that i'm looking at for echoed anger i think this is super dope just be aware again that the gold just won't change color i think the best one will probably be like a shader that has some gold in there so that way you can uh kind of like hide the non-shaderable glow or non-shaderable gold i should say uh abyssinian gold looks pretty good with it i am just again not the biggest fan of abyssinian gold to the point where i just, i really need to switch this out i think starting next season i will do it just because I already had a, have a lot of videos lined up with Abyssinian Gold as the example shader, so we'll see. As for the first set, this one, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I am super duper proud with this one just because it kind of became an accident. So for the helmet, obviously we're using uh, Precious Scars. For the, for the arms, we're using Solstice Gauntlets Majestic. This one's easy because the, arm, the shoulder pads are completely like cracked and everything. So it makes a lot of sense for me to use this set. The Celestial Plate, because I think this chest piece looks really good with the, with the helmet personally. Uh, the fur at the top goes really well with the sides. So that way it doesn't look super weird on the sides. And the only gripe that I have about this set is the fact that the constellations on the chest piece just really annoy me. Uh, for the boots, appearing Cartographer Greaves. This is the first time I use these boots in a long time. And I'm happy that I'm using them because they go really well with this set, especially when you look at the arms and the boots. If you guys don't know, the uh, Solstice Gauntlets specifically have an off color or not off color, but they're asymmetrical technically. And what I mean by that is one side is a different color than the other. So the left side of the arm is actually gold while the other side is white and it mimics the Imperial Cartographer really well, which is why I really, really like it. For the mark, we're using Sunstead Mark just because I wanted something uh, royal or just bougie because everything else is bougie, so might as well just lean into it. And again, because the gold doesn't change color, I ended up using Hoarfrost Sunrise, so that way I can just not think about that gold that doesn't change color. Overall, this is actually really, really cool. I'm definitely going to be using, if I should say this, if I use this helmet, this is going to be the look that I have. That being said, if I can get the ornament, I would actually do the second set as well, just because the second set looks really, really cool. Speaking of which, for the ornament, we're going to be looking at Broken Dreams. This is a really cool ornament. I love the mask. I love the glow. I love the 
the like cloth bandana on your face. All of it is super, super cool. And I am actually really happy with the set. My only gripe is that it shaders really weird. So you guys can't see it from Echoed Anger just because a lot of the red is really good. And I'll basically Echoed Anger looks really, really good with it. But you start noticing the really weird colors that this helmet can take with Abyssinian and Gold because Abyssinian and Gold has this like almost green, actually like, like a green blue hue to the helmet, which Abyssinian Gold has nothing like that. Like it's pure black, brown, and more black. That's it. That's the only colors for, for Abyssinian Gold. Hell, you're looking at Abyssinian Gold's main colors on the actual armor set itself. So I'm just like, where is this green coming from? There is no green in this set. So just be aware that this helmet will take really weird colors. Just be aware of that. Also, it's really cool because a lot of the glow actually pulsates. So you will see like the side where it looks like a smile. It will pulsate really hard. So it is really, really cool. Just be aware that the, again, the shading situation with the helmet is really fucking weird. As for the example set, I ended up going with this really weird look. So for the shader sinking feeling, just because I wanted like just a shader that's so out there and I just decided sinking feeling is not only new, but it's also really out there for the arms using light light can gauntlets with the wolf kiss plate with the iron four under mark. I am actually quite surprised that sinking feeling ended up getting all of these shaders in one color. That's that's a really big feat because this shader or the chest piece usually takes the off color of whatever shader you put on. So most of the time, the Lycan gauntlets and the Iron Foreigner will all be different colors because they're not matching the same. This shader does it right, which is also another reason why I'm using it. The Iron Companion Greaves with the Iron Foreigner mark, I think look really, really cool because the Iron Companion Greaves doesn't have the hip plate that the right side does. So the left side is completely empty, which means that you can use marks that cover up the side, which is going to look really cool. So this is it's really hard because I do like the first set. But this set looks super, super cool. I think fur looks really good with broken dreams. And overall, this is I want to say this is my favorite from these two. But I think the first one just looks like it hits. It hits the nail for me where it just looks so good with every other piece, like legitimately each piece looked great together. But again, I think this set looks great as well. So Titans, let me know what you guys think, man. I I'm not kidding when I tell you that precious scars was a rough exotic to fashion around just because again, uh, precious scars has such a unique and hard to pin down aesthetic that if you don't lean into it, it's just going to look kind of weird, especially since the helmet all really looks kind of weird. Like for me, it already does look weird. So. Let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.